Bunch of questions from me where you at your motivation guys back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to help you become the better Fortnite player. Chapter 3, Season 2, starting off introducing Battle Royale without building. Now, you know, it seems like there is a permanent playlist for those who just want to keep playing the game without any of the building elements. So how do you master this brand new game mode? Well, we're going to be walking you guys through the best no-build strategies so you can just come out with the Victor Royale. But before we do, it's time to get my favorite candy, y'all. Come on, say it with me. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch. Woo! And let's get this going. All right, so the very first thing that you should focus on when playing no build game modes is understanding a major difference that comes with the territory. You know, when you play competitive game modes or even standard matches of Fortnite, many of the best landing spots revolve around the accessibility of mats. You know, trees, rocks, and appliances are our perfect sources for filling up your inventory. So many players already have this habit in mind when really choosing their spot, right? You know, this is a rule that you need to forget when it comes to no build modes though. You know, instead you should focus on making sure that wherever you land, you try to aim for the floor loop so you can be sure to start popping your opponents right away once again guys landing uncontested is a great way for just getting your loot ready however subtracting the time it takes to harvest mats means you should focus mostly on getting the chest first you know there are plenty of ways this season for you to load up on blue or a higher weapon so getting the right equipment is easy if you know where to look you know currently there is a big battle going on for the daily bugle so you know we can expect to see more battles going on at the seven fight back against the io and reclaimed territory during these fights, there are plenty of IO and seven soldiers dunking it out and just dropping plenty of blue or just higher weaponry. So you can also get blue weapons simply by just taking down the guards or taking advantage of IO or henchman chests, which have higher chances of dropping good loot. So check your landing spot and make sure that you're getting loot first so you don't end up falling behind. All right, guys, looking to learn new strategies that you can use in any game mode. Well, how about we let Benji Fishy explain all about this new boot camp that might just help you improve? Yo, what's up boys and girls? This is Benji. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and hopefully teach you guys a lot about competitive Fortnite. I'm always getting questions about how to improve competitive Fortnite. So I've decided to enter a 14 day boot camp teaching you the things I feel like players struggle with the most. By the end of our time together, you're going to leave a better Fortnite player. Not only a more confident, smart and consistent player, but someone who can become a better teammate for the seasons to come. Super excited about the opportunity to connect with all of you and hope you reach your true potential. I'll see you guys soon. No build playlist remove an entire mechanic from the game. You know, because of this, guys, aim becomes the most prominent skill to focus on when trying to survive. You know, the fact that players now have an overshield to their health makes players a little harder to kill, especially if you plan to get up close and just try to one-shot them. The current meta favors consistency, and the longer that you keep your crosshairs on your opponent and land your shots, the better off you're going to be. All right, you know, in previous seasons of Fortnite, we've been able to just simply deal snippets of damage and then fall back until we get opportunity to strike again. You know, while this worked before, it doesn't always yield the same results. You know, once again, guys, you know, thanks to the overshield, dealing tiny chunks of damage at a time, I mean, it doesn't always deal actual damage, and just landing a big blow towards your opponent doesn't always deal as much damage as you think. And so this is why. Like, it's also important to keep a level head on you even if your aim is great and you think you dealt some quick damage. All right, don't get cocky, and instead, make sure that your opponent's overshield is taken care of so you can just start chipping away at their actual health bar. You know, movement plays a big part in no build playlists. For starters, building was always the main way that you just scaled rooftops and found the high ground approach to encounters against other players. This time, you're gonna need to use your speed, slides, and vaulting to get where you need to go and avoid the line of fire. You know, many players can get by just fine using builder techniques, but you know, in no build modes, it can be easy to forget the full extent of your new movement options. All right, don't forget dashing is an excellent way of just speeding up your travel time, but it can also be used to perform an hand slide you know it's also going to help you guys reach just a bit higher with your jumps you know keep in mind that dashing has its limits though you know use it too much and you can just end up running out of steam so dash with caution man and just make sure that you let it recharge during calmer moments of the game all right guys if you made it this far congrats you made it to our question of the day today we want to know your opinions on the zero build game mode is it good is it bad should it have its own arena mode let us know in the comments and we're going to reply to some of your responses 
Our rushing opponents is not such a bad strategy when you have complete confidence in your building skills. You know, even if you're approaching an opponent out in the open, you can always just start building to confuse your target, avoid damage, and then start dealing damage. All right, without building, man, rushing is the equivalent of just putting yourself out in the open. And so even if you do decide to zigzag to make yourself less predictable, no building means that you're only going to make a sharp left or a right. <laughs> Instead, we recommend that you take advantage of third parties. You know, firing from a distance or even just try pulling your opponent out into the open. Don't assume that just because your opponent can build, it just makes them easier to target. You know, no build modes are favored by those who just never like building anyway. So having a mode where they all converge means you're gonna be dealing with opponents who already favor aim. And so next on our list, guys, is getting high ground. Normally, this is a tactical advantage that pairs well with the ability to build. This time, though, you're gonna need to rely on the terrain and default structures. But, you know, there are just plenty of options that have been around since last season, and in season two, Epic has only added to that list in the form of blimps. You know, the loot pool is also very long range focused with many of the weapons such as the thermal rifle, the snipers, and the scope AR, providing benefits to players who like to fight from a distance. And so this makes the blimps an optional choice to really stand your ground since you can see far into the distance and lock into your opponents as they approach. You could also use this tactical position to fire down on enemies roaming your POI or even take down tanks safely from a distance. Okay, so if you're not taking advantage of blimps, it's always just good to really simply know the layout of the map. You know, while being being able to sprint and pull yourself into the top of buildings, I mean, it's just a great way of getting on top of one. You know, you also need to remember to keep an eye out for umbrellas and tires or anything that can give you guys a good bounce. This is great for those moments, man, that you just can't seem to pull yourself up. But just keep in mind, guys, that without building to break the fall, you might want to think twice before dropping down from a high place. All right, in a no build game mode, whew, cover is mostly determined by pre-existing structures. Like these can range from buildings and trees and even rocks, but there are some options guys that if you want to deploy something that will make your life a little bit easier, here it goes. Well, let me say this, for starters, the new cow catcher is mostly made as an upgrade for cars, but it can also be deployed as a way to create quick cover to crouch behind. And so while this isn't nearly as effective as just being able to respond to fire by building a complex tower, it can provide you guys Guys with a few extra seconds when you find yourself in a jam you know another option is using vehicles as cover like while you don't want to get stuck near a ready to explode pickup truck i mean using your own vehicle as a portable cover can be more useful in this meta than before i'm telling you right now so the one item that really helps this become viable is the repair tool you know it's fine if your vehicle gets hit a few times if you get caught in the open and you know really just need to use it to block some fire while you try to pinpoint your opponent but after you eliminate them like you're going to want to get your method of rotation back and just not have to resort to walking. Destroying cover is a great option for no build strategies and the fact that players can build it back up again, it just means that destroyed structures will stay down. Luckily guys, Epic has given us the tools that we need to lay waste to anything that might get in between you and your opponent. The Anvil Rocket Launcher is an excellent example of a weapon which can be used to destroy buildings and strip away your opponent's defenses. However, it is not the only explosive that you can use to do this. As always, grenades are a good way of clearing an area, but even better is the tank vehicle. You know, tanks destroy anything they touch and can be perfect for just leveling buildings and completely cleaning an area. You know, one good way to limit cover is to use explosives on walls before the circle even starts closing in. And so this way, you have the best visual advantage over your opponents who may try just using the inside of buildings as a way to travel through a POI undetected. All right, guys, so the biggest question on your mind if you're coming in from standard playlists is, all right, what's up with the end games? You know, end games are known for just being hectic build fest where players use peace control to try to one-up each other while staying in the zone. But this isn't really the case for end games. You know, without building, you should just focus on using the landscape to give yourself the cover you need so you don't end up, you know, just right in the open as the circle becomes smaller. Like, you should always stay on the edges of the storm and just move along with it. But these strategies can change depending on, you know, where the final circle ends up landing. In some cases, you're going to see the storm just push players out in the open on a flat surface. Other times, you know, one player might have a good position on top of a hill while other players just duke it out below. You know, if you're lucky enough, the circle will close in the building, forcing players into close quarters combat. Make sure to keep an eye on the map to really get updates on the storm circles, then determine where the most strategic point is so you can just bring down those last few opponents and take home that victory royale. All right, guys, before we wrap things up for today, don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for some pro-level coaching.
Bunch of Chris Tommy, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know what you would be interested in learning more about. We would love to hear from you guys. Remember, whether you're playing no build playlists or the standard battle royale, I mean, it's just good to master different strategies so you can pick out of the best method of approaching a problem. Do this, and you're going to be able to adapt to just about anything that Epic throws at you. Hey, make sure to connect with me on my Instagram and your motivation guy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.